All right, we're watching the vote and it is happening right now on the House floor. FISA center stage earlier this week, 19 members of the GOP blocked a vote that Speaker Johnson wanted to bring to renew the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. New amended version voting on that today. Congressional correspondent Kennedy Ducard has the latest right now. And obviously, um, Speaker Johnson's fate may be tied into some of these issues as there's that potential motion to vacate a story you broke here as well, Kim. Yeah, politics is in everything, Bianca, especially here on Capitol Hill. Right now, the House is voting on various amendments that were just part of a huge extensive debate on the House floor. They're currently voting on a uh, on an amendment put forward by Republican Congressman Andy Biggs and get this progressive caucus chairwoman Pramila Jayapal who have actually authored and agreed on a reform to FISA that would allow for a warrant to surveil Americans. This is part of the criticism with this entire uh, program is that Republic or rather Americans have been swept up in this. Um, the vote has not closed yet. We're looking at those current vote tallies. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, um, but Republicans right now, there are 128 uh, in favor of adding this additional provision, 86 against. Right now, this is virtually deadlocked. 212 the members. The okay, they're calling it out right now. Okay, that amendment just failed on the House floor because it was a tie. Um, so what that means is that uh, this was uh, one of the most controversial aspects of this is that they wanted this amendment added in there. Uh, that did not pass. So uh, we saw a number of House Republicans uh, promoting this on social media saying get a warrant um, that has not passed it won't make it in the final bill so what happens from here Bianca is that uh, they're going to continue to vote on the rest of these amendments and then it'll be the final uh, vote on this bill and that is essentially for the program to sunset after two years instead of five that's something that uh, again a lot of Republicans had to compromise with leadership on and the idea that there is that Trump can amend it if he takes the White House in November. But earlier, uh, we heard from a lot of members of the intel community pushing back against that provision that was just voted on and failed, including the House Intel Committee Chairman, Mike Turner. Take a listen to this. It's a definition of the swamp when you stand on this floor and say you're going to give the American people something they already have. They have protections of their communications. They don't have the protection to be able to talk to Hamas and Hezbollah and Communist Chinese Party and say that they're going to be recruited to be a terrorist, to do espionage, or to be a spy. Yeah, so we're going to continue to watch the voting on these amendments. Um, we expect, again, that final vote to happen probably before 1 o'clock and the sessions ends. Uh, as you mentioned, Bianca, the House Speaker Mike Johnson is going to be on his way to Florida to meet with the former president. This, of course, amid threats to his job put forward by Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, who has said that her, her support for Johnson is going to boil down to two issues. One of them is FISA and the other one will will be Ukraine aid, which will be put on the House floor next week. Well, keep us posted. Um, glad that one just failed uh, to be able to surveil Americans without a warrant. It's hard to believe that that would even be as close as a tie.